What's up guys? This episode we're going to be taking our real estate transactions from Sacramento that we imported in the last geocoding episode and we're going to take those and display them as markers in Google Maps. So our right side of the screen here we want to make sure that we display Google Maps there and then all of these items on the left side will be markers inside of that map. This is going to be exactly what you would expect to see from Airbnb's website or Yelp or Foursquare or anything like that. They're going to have a map and they're going to have a list of items on the map and you'll be able to see both of those at the same time. So we're kind of cloning that UI and it's really not as hard as you might expect. So we're going to dive into using the gmaps.js library which is a wrapper around the Google Maps API and it's going to give us a really really easy way to interact with it. Um, if you've ever used their API directly it can be a little clunky and so this gives us some nice methods around it so we can do a lot easier interactions and our code is a lot more readable so this is going to be nice um, and we will be able to use their documentation instead of the Google Maps documentation which can be a little hard to read sometimes and you'll see lots and lots of posts on Stack Overflow uh, from people who are using it directly. So this is going to save us a lot of time and it's as simple as going to either the GitHub repo or the download button and grabbing the gmaps.js code. You want to grab all of this and then put that into your application. Um, what I've done is I've just put it in the asset pipeline in gmaps.js. This is going to then be required in the application.js. I have it required with required tree. Um, and then our JavaScript code that we're going to write for this is actually going to go inside Webpack. So we're going to interact with the two of them um, together.